and gentlemen, and welcome back to TGTV. More specifically, today, ladies and gentlemen, I am at RPM Technic. Now, I featured this wonderful lot a little while ago with my 912, I believe, and maybe some 996 stuff. However, today I've brought my 996 down. It's actually in the workshop, and we're going to go through in a second. I brought my 996 down because I'm having a load of work and some exciting modifications done to the car. Now, the 996 has been a little bit neglected recently. I've been driving it around a lot, but it's a little bit dirty. There are a few bits that need doing on it. So, I brought it down to the pros here at RPM Technic because I've got some new parts to fit to the car. Now, there will be an exhaust going on, but there will also be some other bits and bobs. So without further waffle, I'm going to jump inside, show you some of the kit actually they've got knocking around here because they've got some cool stuff for sale and they do some really cool work to a lot of cars here. So, let's get on with the video. So inside here then we've got some really cool stock. I just want to point out this very quickly. CSI is RPM's Technic's brand. However, this is a 997 with buckets. We've got green leather in here. This is fully customized by the customer and what you can do here at RPM. It's got wooden gear knob there, much like the Carrera GT. Champagne gold wheels, which you know I'm a big fan of. The CSR rear deck lid there. But I just think that looks super, super cool. We've got a 996 coming in. CSR boot lid as well on it. Let's come through out of the noise then. We've got 996 GT3 RS, 996 GT3. Lovely clean Carrera there. And this has caught my eye. A 991.2 GT3 RS Wysik package. So, so cool. I'm absolutely really seriously considering one of these at some point very soon. Absolutely love that. And I'm not usually a fan of white cars, but that just looks incredible. Right, enough waffle then. Some classic stuff in here as well. Very cool. GT4. But this is all stock. So if you fancy any of this stuff, get on the RPM Technic website. All right, let's go through. I'm going to go find my car. So then, here we go. Here is my 996 already in the workshop. So first up then, cosmetically, as I've touched on before, I'm going to be getting the Porsche sports exhaust tips. So the two circles, they go together. I'm gonna to put a photo of that on the screen now. But the tips are going to be changed. Not only that, I've got a full exhaust system from Klein. So these are the same guys that did my Pista exhaust, and they've provided me very kindly with a 996 exhaust. So I'm very excited to hear what that sounds like. Could do with a little bit more uh, growl. Very excited about that, and as always with Klein, beautifully machined, lovely. Look at those welds and whatnot. I mean, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but the Pista exhaust is great, and I'm sure this will be exactly the same. Not only that, but on a car of this age, the suspension starts, A, showing its age in terms of its uh, complexity. They're quite rudimental on a car that's 17 years old. Don't worry, that's not scratches, that's just dirt. But also, they're actually starting to get a little bit kind of worn down. So when this was up on the ramp last time here, some of the bushings and stuff needed replacing. It's all getting a little bit elderly in there. So, I have opted with a whole, apologies there, my camera died. I'm actually filming on my phone now. I've opted for a KW kit. They actually produce suspension systems and their RPM here are a stockist of KW and they do so many Porsches. Let's get this box open. They do so many Porsches and these are such a simple upgrade that they absolutely transform the car. So you can adjust all sorts on these. You've got your bump setting on here. Very nice, add a nice metal as well. You've got rebound adjustment, all sorts of suspension adjustment related garb. This is obviously a full set. We've got four of them in here and we've got a tool kit here. I'm really, really excited to get behind the wheel of this car with this suspension done. Now, they're not only available for the 996, but you can also obviously get them for the 964, the 993, and even for the 997 and 991, a lot of people just get actually KW springs to lower the car slightly. This is actually a full suspension solution. Really, really excited to get these on. It's just gonna transform the car because it, it was feeling a little bit ropey, handling wise. And you could tell the springs and the kind of bushings and the dampers and everything were a little bit old. So I'm really, really excited. It's gonna absolutely transform the car. And I think I'm gonna put a slight, slight drop on the car. I might go 10 mil, possibly not cars. I actually find the front of the car quite low. I do tend to scrape that little kind of disposable plastic bit at the bottom there. I do tend to find I scrape that quite a lot. So I might not go that much lower, but with these springs, you can actually choose how low to go. Very, very exciting. Not only that, inside the car then, for its age, it's not bad at all. And it's relatively low miles at 50,000 miles. But I don't know if you can see, there's little bits of kind of chipping and whatnot on the leather. A little bits of age around the front there. Some cracks there. A few little scuffs here, there and everywhere. I'm just gonna get the interior tidied up slightly. I'm not gonna go for concourse, but I'm just gonna try and make it slightly nicer in here. 
and the mats as well. They could probably do with changing. So just a little bit of tarting up, a little bit of freshening. And obviously there's litter everywhere because it's me. The detailers here as well will de-swirl the paint. And generally just work on the car and put it back to its kind of former glory. I'm just really excited to see it with a slight suspension stance change and the new tips. Really, really cool and absolutely buzzing. And it's in, couldn't be in better hands here. These guys are the nuts when it comes to Porsche. Anyone that knows about Porsches will already know about RPM Technic. But if you are in the market for kind of tidying up your Porsche or getting some new springs on there and just making it drive that a little bit better, do give them a shout. That then is the car now left. I'm going to leave that there for the work to be done. I'm going to pop back in about a week or so and see how they're getting on with the work. For now though, it's time for me to disappear. In terms of my plans for the car, I plan to keep this one kind of long term. I don't plan on getting rid of it anytime soon. It's gonna be a car that I can hold on to for quite some time, so it's worth putting a bit of money in. I know a lot of you will be saying, why are you spending that much time and money on a 996? I love the car, and I wanna put many, many happy miles on it. So I'm more than happy to put a bit of cash into it and get it tip top. For now though, it's goodbye from RPM Technic. A big thank you for watching. Do subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you all very soon. Ciao now.